What's up guys, Joe Hyde here, and today I thought I'd just do some testing on the new pack, Who's Who, sort of seeing what its capabilities are and how far it can go in certain situations. So, this has pretty much just been added, it's been a couple of days since the Revolution map pack came out and people have found a lot out about it, and I haven't really looked too much into the Who's Who pack and what it can do and stuff, so I figured I'd make a quick video, do some tests about certain certain things and then I can share it with you guys so that you guys are more informed about the pack as well because you've probably seen the video where I went down on round 25 I think it was or 21 I can't remember which one but that was because of the who's who's pe who's who pack and I didn't know about it and I didn't know what it did so hopefully this video will give you a bit of it more of an insight into what it can do and what it can't do so let's get started So, for the first test, I decided to see how long it takes for your character to die and how long you've got to revive yourself before you actually just disappear completely. So, as you'll see here, it took about 45 seconds for my character to die and once he did die, you actually just continue playing as your clone and you lose all your weapons except for your equipment like claymores and stuff. I don't know whether that's because I had some planted down and saved, but I seem to keep my claymores, so... Just keep that in mind next time you've got who's who. Is it worth reviving yourself? Is your weaponry that good? And yeah, you've got about 45 seconds to do it if you do want to revive yourself. So on to test two. So for test two, I decided to say, well, if I let myself die and I just keep playing as my clone, I wonder what happens if I had quick revive when I went down the first time. So I went and bought quick revive and waited for my character to die, waited the 45 seconds it takes and this is what happened. You get up and you still have everything on you. It's just like having quick revive but it takes a lot longer for you to get up. So if you are just going to use it like this, like just try and survive and use it as a quick revive type thing, then you're best off not getting who's who at all because it's actually a lot faster and a lot easier just to have quick revive but I guess who's who could help you in the sense that it doesn't run out and it's useful once you've run out of quick revives so on to test three So for test three I wanted to find out what quick revive would do for the cloned version when you have who's who so I went and bought it and this is what happened I was able to revive myself quicker, like on multiplayer, but it also acted here as the single player version where I could actually revive my clone using quick revive and then revive my original self using who's who. And this was a great combination, but it did run through quick revives very fast. You only get three on solo, so I would use this as sort of like a multiplayer tactic more than a single player one. Or if you're in a really desperate situation, then go by Quick Revive just to make sure. So, on to test 4. So for this test, I wanted to know what would happen if I bought a perk as my clone and then just left myself to revive myself using Quick Revive. Would I keep the perk or would it just disappear? And the answer is unfortunately it just disappears. Now I thought this would be a great way to get Quick Revives back because of how helpful it is when you use it as your clone. But unfortunately you don't keep perks when you let yourself revive yourself using Quick Revive. So don't try this. So now for test 5. So for the fifth and final test, I decided to see what happens when you buy Who's Who as your Who's Who's clone. So that might sound a bit confusing, but this is what I did. I went and bought Who's Who right after I got myself down. And this is all it does. It just gets rid of your actual guy that you need to revive and just lets you keep playing as normal. Now, this might not seem like a very clever idea because you've definitely lost all your stuff if you do this. But if you do actually have the perma perk of Juggernog, then... This will actually be pretty useful if you're in a sticky situation because as the Who's Who's clone, you don't actually get to keep your Juggernog, your Perma Juggernog, 
advantage. So by buying who's who and getting rid of your ed original self, you actually get your permajug back. So it can be really useful if you're in a tight situation and there's not much choice. So I hope this guide's been helpful, guys, and I hope I've taught you something you didn't know. So if you've got anything else that you know about this pair, please let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Thanks again for watching guys, if this video helped in any way please leave a like, it'll help me out a lot, subscribe if you want more tips and info like this, and here's just two videos that you probably haven't seen yet, at the bottom is actually a diamond peacekeeper gameplay if you are into the multiplayer side of things, and at the top is actually the video that made me want to experiment with who's who a bit more, and it was a bit of a fail really, so definitely go check that out if you're more into zombies. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you in my next video, bye.